Welcome back to part two of unit three's stacks of kinematic curves worksheet. We'll be going through graph six through ten. Uh, let's take a look at number six. So in this problem, the position time graph indicates that an object begins its motion some position away, positive position away from the origin. Um, and because it's flat, it doesn't change its position over time, so it's standing still for a while. And then, because it curves upward, um, it begins to pick up speed in the positive direction. So let's show what the velocity time graph would look like. Um, so for the first part of the motion, there is no speed. So we're going to start with no velocity. And then the velocity will pick up uh, in a constant way. So uh, it has constant acceleration for the second portion. We go from having no acceleration, there's no velocity at all, so there's no change in velocity for the first portion. And then the slope of the second segment is positive and constant. So we go from no acceleration to acceleration that is positive and constant. Okay, number seven. Object begins its motion at the origin. It curves up, so it's speeding up, but at some point it reaches um, a certain speed and then continues moving at that speed. It's like you accelerate, you set the cruise control, and then you just let your car be. So it, it continues its motion forward at a constant speed. So we're going to show speeding up from rest in a positive direction and then constant speed. So the acceleration is positive and constant for the first portion because it's speeding up. But where there is no change in the velocity, the acceleration is zero. Okay, because the slope of the horizontal line is zero. Number eight. Object begins its motion at the origin, moves forward with a constant speed, and then if you look at the curve now, it's an over curve, it begins to be less steep as time passes, so it is slowing down as it moves forward. So this object begins with a positive velocity that is constant and then begins to slow down as it moves, continues to move forward. So for the first portion there is no acceleration, the acceleration is zero, and then for the second portion the line is has a slope that is negative and constant, so the acceleration is negative and constant. For number nine, the position of the object at time zero is some positive position away from the origin, so it's moving in the negative direction. It has a constant speed, and if you take a look at how it's curving now, it's getting steeper in the negative direction. So it's actually picking up speed, but continuing to move in the negative direction back towards the origin here. So let's think about this. So the slope of the first segment is negative. It's got a negative but constant velocity. So we got to pick a negative constant velocity here. Okay. But now the s slope is getting steeper. So the velocity is increasing and getting more negative. So this line is going to go down now, which means that it's speeding up but in a negative direction. For the acceleration, there's no difference from uh, number eight and number nine. If you look at the velocity time graphs, even though they're in different, they begin at different spots, the shape is the same, so this, the descriptions of the slopes of, that, of those line segments would be the same. So no acceleration to start, and then a negative constant acceleration to finish with. Um, all right, for the last portion, um, I can get and slide this over. Um, if we look, the object begins at the origin the entire time the object is moving forward. But at first it's speeding up and then it starts to slow down. So we want to start at, with no speed, moving forward. So it's increasing speed as it moves forward. And then we want to show slowing down, 
but still moving forward. All the velocities are up in the first quadrant above the t-axis, so if the velocities are all positive, then the object is always moving forward. For the acceleration, the first segment has a slope that is positive and constant, but for the second segment, we could say that it ha it's negative and constant. So if you begin at rest with a positive constant acceleration, the object is able to speed up moving forward. But if all of a sudden you introduce a negative acceleration into the motion, now as the car attempts to move forward, it will begin to slow down because the negative acceleration will take away from the positive velocity.